I am back. What it do, baby? Welcome to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Big shout out to all the sponsors of the channel. All the information is in the description box. And follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at box with G5 Jeff TV. Now, women's boxing is a hot topic right now from Clarissa Shields to Layla Lee. And just the sport of women's boxing becoming more popular and being talked about a lot more. Now, this situation brings more eyeballs to the sport, but more in a negative way. Alejandra Jimenez has tested positive for being on, on the finest juices by Vada. And this is a hot topic right now and this was a hot topic prior to this news coming out for the people that don't know alejandra jimenez was the woman that was in the fight with franjon cruz Dezern on the zone and franjon is the woman that got hit with the shot and her uh wig came off <laughs> and the woman in the corner tried to put it back on and you can hear Barry Hunter like, take that shit off her head. <laughs> yeah, like, it's it's crazy. Like, that fight was a damn good fight. Alejandra Jimenez won that fight. But who knows what's going to happen with the two super middleweight belts that Alejandra Jimenez won. This is big. Like, this is not your typical Vada found somebody cheating and they put out that the person failed a drug test this one's different because franchon cruz she now has a hashtag on instagram and twitter saying fuck that hair and she put a post up saying fuck that hair i just want my belts back and there was a lot of talk just within boxing circles that alejandra jimenez was on, on the finest juices and there were some people that were saying that she might have been a man at one point. Now, I haven't dug that deep into it, um, but I I know for sure there were some people that I listened to that was making that notion. And when you actually do a little bit of homework on Alejandra Jimenez, if you listen to her talk previous to this fight, her voice sound more feminine in the past when she spoke after the franchise cruz fight her voice was very heavy it was very heavy kind of mannish like you know what i'm saying i'm trying to be respectful but her voice sounded really deep like it was mannish like it was different than the way she sounded in the past and that's what had a lot of people thinking that's what had a lot of people speculating and for me, I'm not quick to jump on and say some, you know, somebody or athlete is on the finest juices. I, I'm not quick to say that, but this situation had my head scratching a little bit. I, I'm not even going to sit up here and lie. I have a lot of respect for Franchon Cruz Desern strictly because she fought Clarissa Shields on her debut. <laughs> her debut fight was against the quote. Like, you got to respect that. You got to respect that. And on this channel, we we promote being completely against fighters that are on, on the finest juices. Like, we, we don't like it. We don't like it at all. Boxing is a dangerous sport. Um, We've seen several fighters over the past year die inside of the ring. And as far as what we know... Their opponents were perfectly clean. So that's let alone someone that's fighting dirty. So we take these things extremely serious. Um, we don't we don't want to see any of our athletes using performance enhancing drugs. And I think it was very important for Vada to come out and with these findings about Alejandra Jimenez because when you have people that are not familiar with performance enhancing drugs and things like that, 
And a lot of just casual fans was saying like, yo, I think she might be on something. When it's that bad, if Vada didn't come out and say, hey, she failed the test, people would have been looking at Vada and been questioning their credibility. And that's the last thing Vada needs because Vada is probably the only major drug testing organization that's credible within the sport of boxing. I mean, you have um, UCAD and USADA, but they don't have as much credibility as Vada. And that's just what it is. But since the news came out, Franchine Cruz Desern, she said on Instagram, she said she wants her belts back. Not only does she want her belts back, but she wants a piece of Alejandro Jimenez's purse. And to keep it all the way real, she should get it. She should get it. That fight should be a no contest. She should be able to get her belts back. And they should treat this situation like somebody coming in overweight at the weigh-in. You need to give the opponent a piece of the purse. So what Franchine is asking for is not out of the question. And I think it should definitely happen. The WBC needs to be swift as far as this situation is concerned. Vada needs to keep the general public informed on what's going on and we need to know what finest juices Alejandra Jimenez was on now on the flip side if Alejandra Jimenez is innocent if she's innocent Vada needs to put it out there that she is innocent and why there was a positive drug test to begin with so if it was anything that they did wrong they need to point that out as well I want to make it perfectly clear that if Alejandra Jimenez is innocent, then that needs to be exposed just as much as if she's guilty as charged going forward. That needs to be exposed as well because the sport of boxing is not going to punish fighters the way that we want to as far as positive drug tests. So the next best thing is public humiliation. Public humiliation. Like that's another form of punishment for people that have positive drug tests at the end of the day and this goes for everybody like this goes for everybody it's not just women boxers or men boxers or just boxers that's not well known to top five in the world like it's everybody we need a clean sport period we need to stay on top of Vada. we need to stay on top of the wbc in regards to this situation because we need to know what's going on going forward and give franchine cruz discern her titles back she lost her titles against somebody that was on, on the finest juices. And she need her belts back ASAP. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5F TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.